Good evening, everybody. Welcome again to the Casual Report, episode 128. I'm your host today, JT, joined by the tremendous chef, Rob. Rob, how are you, mate? Are you good? All good. I'm all good, pal. All good. Um, what were you chowing down on? But... Uh, some wedges and some chilli and some cheese. Mate, wedges, chilies and cheese is, is the way forward, as we all know. Um That's been nice. A more important question, Rob, what have you been playing? Borderlands, but... I'm shocked been... at that statement, my friend. <laughs> but it's, to be fair, it's the one that I neglect a lot. Pre-sequel. Is, yeah, pre-sequel. Yeah. I always cool. neglect it, I never play it, and it's always a case of every time I look at it, I go, oh, it's just not that good, but then I play it, and then I remember that it is actually really good. Yeah. It's... It's just that that first bit going past Deadly. Um, I've never played the preview. The, the the trouble with it is the first boss. Right. And it's a case of if you don't beat the first boss, then you, you're just not going to enjoy the game, and you get stuck, and you just go forget it. <laughs> That's a, so pro tip: beat the first boss. Yeah. If, if, you, if you lose, to... does that advance the game anyway? No. Okay. You have so, you have to beat him. Okay, so beat him. Yeah. <laughs> beat the first boss. But yeah, it's it's been nice playing that again to be fair and getting back on that, so on that. What is it? Beat. Why don't you prefer why don't you prefer that one to like two and three? What what why what is it about know. it that I th I think it's cause two is the one that I always played. Like I started with one anyway. Yeah. But two was like the, the all time great. It was just phenomenal. Like the storyline, everything was just bob on with it. You love to, I mean, Anthem Jack's my dude, to be fair. But I say, like, you know managed I mean? to make, like, possibly one of the most genocidal maniacs. He's a twat, and I love him. Like, you know what I, mean? <laughs> I just love him. I he's such a bastard. Like, Genuinely, that's, that's just it. I mean, like,. I mean, who who else do you know that you'd still be like, I like Handsome Jack, even though he literally experiments on someone's bird and then to finish it off, blows their head off mm -hmm. right at the end of it as a surprise. <laughs> it's like, um... Exactly. Um, Mate. <laughs> yeah. I'd say, yeah, it's just... I, I think it's because I just don't play it as much. Mm -hmm. That is that okay. Like, yeah, it, like the actual game itself is actually really good, and I need to just kind of crack on with it again. But otherwise, um, that's been pretty much it. Pretty much it. Pretty much buzzing, mate. Did you watch anything? I've been watching something with Laura called Alice in Borderlands. Ah, you should tell me about this. You should tell me about this. Um, it's been quite interesting. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was saying, like, for, for, a, for a sort of um, Japanese dub. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's um, yeah, because when the shock horror systems went down yesterday, and we just sat there, most of us, um, so we're just like, and she said, it's, it's right up your street. She said to me, I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay, it's... I'm told right now. Um, then it's just just almost me about it. I was like, okay, I'm sold right now. It's like a, it I get good. um, world ends with you vibes ish, um, but I mean. Mm. Straight on my list, it went. No, I didn't need to watch the trailer. I mean, it was honestly like I at first was a bit skeptical because it's the case I, I normally some of the dub wise I'm a bit like, yeah. But then after watching Money Heist, that was pretty damn good. And then this one's just kind of followed. Money Heist is phenom phenomenal. Like, it's, it's so yeah, good. It's, it's, I mean, so there are bits that I'm looking at. I'm like, what? What's just happened? I have no idea what the hell's going on. But then, like, it kind of catches up, and you're like, ah, okay, okay. It's all buzzing. Yeah. So that's about it, really. Then, yeah. Ask me. What have we been up to? I've been chilling. Um, it was my girlfriend's birthday on Saturday. So happy birthday, Jade. It, it was happy birthday. Um, woo! <laughs> um, so we went to see. Uh, folks and Dan and Mary obviously in um, Pingy and then on Saturday Jane and Mary had the day together me and Dan went to, we told you about it Arcade Club in Leeds, yeah, there's one in Berry as well yeah. which 
alt lights in. We're gonna go for my birthday, the one in Berry. So you're more than welcome to hop along, right? I was um, gonna say if, if if Ace is there, I might have to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Mate. But yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it is. It was heaven, mate. I'm not going to lie to you. Wasn't a 2P machine in sight. There wasn't a teddy picker anywhere. There wasn't them stupid stalls with the oversized toys which you buy for tickets. I was like, mate, this is just this, this phenomenal. Is um, <laughs> oh, God, I can't even... Like, it, oh, I pinball machines. The food wasn't too bad. Um, they're, 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 like, they're these like, weird Japanese machines. Like, There's this Konami one with like blocks and you had to... Like a rhythm game, so it's like, like a like a piano thing, but not a piano, but like squares. <laughs> and this other one where it had like plastic um, stick things, like you hold one and then you, somebody else holds another and you sort of push the other person to try and... Like, on screen you'd have like your character with like a bucket on the red and it'd have to catch things. So you, you'd sort of move, like, like tug of war basically, but you, you're sort of doing that. But I've got to tell you, mate. Do not have you had your second jab? Yeah. Good. Do not play that game when you're after just after you've had your second jab. Because I was a, a day, day and a half in, and I was like, Oof, that didn't last. I couldn't play it more than once, mate. I had to cheat a bit because <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? So I went back onto pinball, mate. Went upstairs. Um, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Three floors of shit, and I was all over it, mate. Um, yes, yeah, they like. Sega Rally was there, um, Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 3rd Strike, Street Fighter 2 was probably there, and NBA Jam was there, Battletoads, Robotron, one of my personal favourites is Robotron by the way, Ikaruga Machine as well, got the high score on that, a few issues though, Rob, Yeah. Um, I, I, from what I understand you have to buy a day pass if you want to go in, I, Yeah, which I thought was, all the machines are free, free to play which is felt like give it 90 minutes i've made my money back all day long uh, do you know what i mean because I'm, I'm just rinsing these machines free play but oh, yeah. if i what if i if i'm a local to the area and I, i'm on my way on from work i said oh, i've quite, quite fancy quick go with that arcade machine in there i couldn't just go in whack a pound in have a go and leave do you know what i mean i'd have to get the yeah, day pass to. i have to make a day out of it which i don't mind but when i when, I, when i'm passing if i was passing um i don't live local to leeds obviously but um, if it was passing, I'd have to do that, and I, I, that annoys me a bit. And, and, um, mm -hmm. they turn the machines off at night, so all most of the high scores go. So I was getting. Uh... There was a few games there which 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 had the high scores, but quite a lot of machines. I don't think have the memory capacity to keep the scores once you've turned off at the plug. Do you know what I mean? I mean that resets it. Yeah. Um, That's which a is a shame because. So th th that that was the big thing for me about going to arcades, is like getting that that fucking massive score. Like the pinball machines, they kept their high score, and a few yeah. of the others did. To be fair, but like quite like Ikaruga didn't. I was top score Ikaruga. I just walked in, it's in a bit. Like you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, and there's a game which is my forgotten gem today, which I won't talk about. Uh, okay, but I'm buzzing about it. Um, and I've been playing a bit more Fist, which is tremendous. And um, also, okay. um, just put it there for me, what old legend. Ask me what uh, Jade got off her brother for her birthday. Well, what did she get? Uh, nice. That is an Xbox Series 2 Elite controller. I am extremely jealous. I'm, I was fucking jealous, mate. Do you know what I mean? It's very, mate. It's very nice. How long? How long did it take you before you managed to like convince her to let you have a go of it for an when hour? When we got back, oh, we, we went from <laughs> Friday to Sunday. We went. Um, obviously, the Xbox is here. Yeah. Um, she, she went bad. She's like, oh, you can. Yeah, you, yeah, you can have a quick go of, 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 of a few games if you want. So I'm there, like. Oh yeah. Put Gears of War on, mate. Mate, the sticks are, do you know, are so nice and obviously it's customizable. I don't know if you can see that. That customizable stick, it's just magnetic. Got a battery pack, uh... not double A batteries. These, you can program these to be like A button or whatever. Um, 
this I'm not controlling this. That controls your sticks, so I don't know if you can see. I I put it all the way down, but if I bring it up, this this switch thing here, there's a switch there. You can't see because it's black yeah. and black. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, uh, nice. Yeah, that's what it controls how. Perhaps on like shooting games or whatever, like it probably controls. Uh, I, I quite like that. Yeah, yeah it's cool. Like, um, especially, especially like I mean, like there's, there's something that like. I mean, like, especially if you're playing something where you're a sniper. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's cool. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure it has its thousands of uses, but I like the games I play. I play Gears of War, played a bit of FIFA, play, I just played Fuffet on there, like Psychonauts 2 a bit as well. Just just trying it out, and I've got to tell you, I mean, I, I don't know. It is for the hardest of hardcore because it is about 180 quid or something like that, but it is nice. It is for the finance options. Yeah, mate, it's so nice. <laughs> You gotta think that is three games, so it's like, you know what I mean? Mm. But it's fucking nice, mate. I've got to be honest. But Rob, that is about all I got up to. I went to TGI Fridays for tea on Saturday as well. I'm very happy about that. I have not been to one of those. Mate, you go to TGI Fridays, you get the chicken and legendary glaze, mate, and come back to me. You know what I mean? And if I'm if I'm ever like near one, mate, it's trust not, me. It's, that's not in the vicinity of a Wagamama's, I should be able to do it. I've never been Wagamama's, see, but we're on different sides of the same coin here, mate. Well, that's it. I'd, I'd prefer to go to GDR for RJ's, but mm -hmm. the other half loves, loves Wagamama's. Yeah. I, um, if, we, if, we, if we go anywhere, there happens to be one there, like, that's where we're going. That's it. Is it, is it like, just straight <laughs> up? Is it? I, I, quite a few of my friends like Wagamama's, to be fair. Um, I've got to say, for, like, for, what, you, for what you spend and yeah. what you actually get, it's pretty good okay is it nice is it like right. oh yeah that what's is it is it like what's it specializing is it or is it just food um that makes sense. Sort of like um sort of like that um i did i did wonder like if it was asian of, it is yeah. asian apparently yeah, it's, it's like yeah a lot of sort of like asian style cuisine so like katsu sort of curry style areas you've got some pad thai aspects chicken ramen which is it sounds plain and boring but it's not it's i'm trying to find the menu mate to be honest with you oh you can click and collect wagamama's near me let's have a look hey eh? let's look. shall we shall we find out do you want the closest is it handler the closest one i i think it's cheshire oaks if yeah. it's not Cheshire Oaks, it'll be one probably the other side. No, that's Chester. right. Yeah, I put it up. Twenty miles away, Cheshire Oaks is the one that's flashing at me. Yeah. There isn't one in Hanley, which I no. thought there was, but never mind. Nah, Hanley's lost like a lot of stuff. Like coast to coast is gone. Oh, is it? Oh yeah. fuck yeah, because it did. Yeah, I'm sorry. There was that one yeah. there. There was one there. Yeah. I liked coast to coast. Yeah, yeah. it's gone. <laughs> Bump hands still there to you do it because because everyone wants buffet. Exactly. <laughs> you got Cheshire Oaks, Didsbury, uh, then Liverpool Speak, Manchester into that's the Traffic Centre one, Salford Media City. Yeah. Twenty twenty five miles away. We're fucked, mate. If we have want Wagamamas. Yeah, it's a bit of a ball like. <laughs> But then again, if you want walk and go, Chester forever. Yeah. Nice, mate. Goes the one. Nice. <laughs> uh, Rob, shall we crack on, mate? Yes, got a, let's see what's a going tad on. to get through today, but first up, scores on the doors, my friend. Um, you was we were speaking before the show about how you you loved how much this game was shoved in your face over the past eighteen months. You, you were you were saying, I think, <laughs> but there was a good reason, Rob. It was shoved in your face for the past eighteen I mean, months. Yeah, obviously, it's, it's just it's just how how they chose how they chose to do it. Yeah, <laughs> the video game we're talking about Death Loops out today. PS5 yeah. and PC, um, and damn, I mean, I was, I was like, I was looking forward to this game, but phew, mate, it is, it's sitting on the exact same score that Nero Automata is sitting, which is in good company, mate. Be honest with you. Um, so I'll put the score on the screen. It is, of course, an 88. It's sat at. Those who do the Metacritic homework, I forgot to do the thing. I do apologise, everybody. Um, there it is. Do um, those are the homework, obviously. 88, um, with 74 positive reviews and five mixed, um, a total of 79 reviews overall. Which 88 score over 79 reviews isn't, isn't bad going, do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's pretty good, game. I think I can see it's at 100% from enemy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, enemies. Uh, IGN said definitely been cases, fun investigation work and satisfying combat and a unique time loop mechanic to create a tremendously satisfying adventure. Uh, so I think it's what I understand it is a, a roguelike kind of kind of shindig. Um, yeah. PlayStation Universe Deathloop is not only the most conceptually ambitious and well executed games ever made, but Arcane's PlayStation Swan Song also has a boundless energy and engine ingenuity that no other game can match quite simply Deathloop is an unparalleled synergy of first person shooter design explorative bliss and narrative complexity that we likely won't see again for a very very long time it's getting praise here by the way um a lot of tens i'll be honest with you a lot of tens i let you five reviews here sorry beg your pardon i'm talking nonsense um that's weird oh some some must not have scores um God is a geek. Deathloop is this magnificently unstructured FPS filled with loads of weapons and abilities that never stops being fun. Um, and I could go on and on and all this green, mate. Um, it doesn't really sort of drop below 90, to be not fair. Not really. Off. We have to go... There you go. Eight, in the eight, even in 80s, it takes a while to get to 82, 80. Um, where are the mix? They yeah, are mixed. Right, okay. Metro Game Central, not quite a misfire, but while the action is highly entertaining, this time loop and adventure squanders much of its premise uh, on disappointingly straightforward ob objectives and a curiously tame portrayal of unchecked hedonism. Which, you know, fair enough. Um, for the fans of modern Hitman series, Arcane's outstanding catalogue and great feeling FPS games in general, definitely is highly recommended. That's screen rant. That's a, that's a 70. That's still pretty... You know, yeah. To be fair, I don't hold Screen Rant in in high regard for half the shit they do anyway. <laughs> not uh, honestly. Like, Rob is not a fan of Screen Rant, ladies and gentlemen. Um, no. <laughs> what else are we looking at here? Uh, gaming trend eighty. Deathloop is a great game. If kind of a mixed bag in ways. On one hand, the gameplay is some of the most refined Arcane has done, and they give you an uh, almost an easy mode roguelite to play along with a little opposition via co-op for spice. On the other hand. However, the story can stumble and the grind can be a bit too monotonous. Uh, Deathloop walks a bit of a fine line, but overall has enough fun ideas to keep things mostly fresh and fun for Colt and Juliana players alike. But dum dum. Now, Rob, I have a question. Yes. Were you ever interested in Deathloop as a video game? I, I was, but it was a case that I, for the majority of the trailers I saw, mm -hmm. it wasn't clear what the fuck it was. I, I have no idea. I've read like a few reviews and I'm, I agree. I have no idea. I think it's a roguelike, but even the people that are really like, yeah. it's kind of this, but then it's this, and then, which is kind of, which is interesting in a way, but I, I kind of yeah. want to know what I'm getting into. Do you know what I mean? That's it. I mean, like, there's, there's sort of like having some element of surprise, but when, when it's a case that you don't even know what the game is, it's a bit worrying yeah. you don't want to go spending especially the 80 quid that it's costing now yeah. for playstation 5 games yeah. um, it is only like. it is only 50 slash 60 because it is Ooh, isn't first party so you can get it for um that's i've seen if you're on ebay for 49 so i'm, I'm just sat there like, for fuck's sake, like oh. um but this is metroid dread pay packet month so I've, I've got to behave a bit do you know what i mean um, that makes sense but I mean, yeah, I was always in like, I, like, arcane, like the, the dishonored dudes. I think, pretty sure it is the dishonored people, which is why I'm so excited. And now, it is uh, arcane is then. Yeah. I, is it the same? Yes. Yeah. Is... Yeah. So dishonored is. Ugh, I can't. Do you like dishonored? Yeah. It's so I good, it. mate. Um, one definitely outside of two. All the. DLC is a good, um, yeah. and it was like some fucking Quentin Tarantino looking thing, and it's like Groundhog Day meets Dishonored. I'm like, fuck it, fuck me. I'm in. I was, I was in day one, but then it was like these trailers are a bit much, guys. Like you've you've shown a probably a thousand trailers at this point, um, but with good uh, with good cause because obviously they they obviously knew the game was class, um, and the game looks good. Don't get me wrong. Well, I'm wondering, the more I think about it now, the more I'm like, was it a bit more of a marketing scheme? Because almost every trailer was the same. Yeah. It was like, like, shove down your throat, where, Mike, yes. Where, where, where are they sort of playing on the Groundhog Day feel? Hmm. Probably. And um, funny thing is, um, 
Microsoft have published two of the best games of the year um, in uh, Deathloop and Psychonauts 2, and both of them are on PlayStation. <laughs> so much to think about, mate. So much to think about. But I'm in, right? Yeah. Every day of the week, I'm in. I am. I'm, 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 here or there, where I'm going to get it this year, but we'll see. Um, Rob. Yes. Moving on. Yesterday, mm -hmm. when we were down, uh, a trailer dropped for a certain Marvel um, property series for Disney Plus. Have you seen the trailer I'm talking about? I have not. I have been tagged in it. I still need to watch it. Hey, I, I put it straight on my phone, knocked it on the thing, and think me, Lauren, I think someone else watched it as well. I'm not sure. Um, now, obviously, I'm talking about Hawkeye, Rob. Yes. How does a Hawkeye series on Disney Plus really win? I, I'm quite on board. I've got a feeling it's going to be not as serious as falcon winter soldier but it's not going to be as comedic as loki could be yeah did you watch all of loki so, yeah i did I, i've got to say to be fair i probably enjoyed loki the most uh, i think i need to go back and watch um uh, i've only watched like the first one or two of loki um i need to go back and finish it off to be fair because I don't know why I haven't been back to be honest, but um, I don't know. But this looks kind of cool. It's got the the girl in it from Transformers Bumblebee. Um, I can't remember a fucking name. I'm so she's a singer. I I haven't even seen it. Um, what Bumblebee? <laughs> no. Nope. Bumblebee's the best Transformers film. I don't like the Transformers films much. Um, but it's all kicking off. Um, I'm I am interested in to see where. The Hawkeye series is going to take us into the MCU further, or oh, this is this one song and sing a bit. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but I think this is to bring it. I think his daughter's is it his daughter in the? I think it's his daughter in the comic book because she is in this, and I think that's who that yeah. girl plays. So sorry, give me a second. Hawkeye daughter. Give me a second. Lila Barton is the daughter of Laura and Clint Barton, also known as Hawkeye. What the blah, yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah. she's in the. Yeah, I think this is a coy to bring her into it, but I do think that she's getting played by. Um... What's the singer called, Rob? No idea. Oh my lord, it's going to do me. I didn't. I know her name. It's like. I forgot. I'm just gonna Google it real quick. Let's like, do with my head in. Let's do with my head in. Uh, Wikipedia, of course. Wikipedia. Show me. Show me. Haley Steinfeld. I had no idea who that is. I didn't either. But she, I did listen to one of her songs, and she was um, chilling. Um, but uh, yeah, shall we? crack on and also rob i don't know how much you're into your, your phones but uh, the iphone 13 he the, the iphone 13 has been revealed by apple today there was that apple thing that's on now now wish i'm not sure if it's finished to be honest um but i'm reading this information from nibel on twitter i'm gonna go put it on the screen for everybody because i do what i want you know what i mean rob are you an iphone man or an android I am iPhone. You are iPhone. Are you interested in iPhone 13? Not that much. No, I does that say. not look nice? That looks nice to be it, fair. It, look, it looks really good, Abby, but it's just, it reminds me a lot of the 11, which I've already got. You've got the 11. So, you. Yeah. Okay. It's just, it, I mean. I've got buzzwords so for you, mate. Well, I've got buzzwords for you. It's got a Super Retina XDR display, 12,000 okay. nits. I don't know what on it is. I wish Jan was there. He's the okay. phone guy. <laughs> Do you know what I, mean? I was going to say, he'd know. He'd know um, what we're haptic about. touch, uh, true tone, HDR, Dolby Visual. Um, there's two, it looks like 6.1 inch screen and 5.4 inch screen. Apple Custom OLED. Um, moving on. It's 15 billion transistors. 50% faster CPU versus the competition. I assume that means my phone, but I don't know. Um, two times system cache. That'd be good. 
uh, faster new, new blah, 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 faster neural engine A15 chip, 15.8 trillion operations per second. New video encoder, new video decoder, secure enclave, wider lossy compression support, new display engine, and new ISP. Um, Rob, I have a question. Go on. Does that, what I've just told you there, right? Yeah. Does that mean anything to you? All due respect. I mean, that with I great mean, respect. Realistically, am am I going to use or benefit from no. any of that? You know, I do on my phone. I go on Twitter. That's it. Yeah. I take yeah. my girlfriend. That's it's, it. Yeah, same with mine. Valently, I watch some YouTube videos. Yes. Oh, Which... actually, I do play Game Pass when the computers go down at work. So thank you for that. <laughs> but, but I mean, again, that's like... in the cloud anyway. There's some new yeah, screenshots so... for the uh, new Star Wars phone game as well. But I. <sighs> Do you know what I mean? But um, are you doing upgrade, Rob? Uh, no, not yet. I'm pretty sure. Is it I... next year you're doing upgrade? I think mine was eighteen months. Right, okay. So mine's cool. Yeah, mine's next year. Cool. Um, when did you get your this iPhone eleven? Was it this year or? It was last year. Um, so I think it was September, October time last year. Yeah, so it's about you'd be about Marchish and all that. If it's eighteen yeah, months, right? right. Um, yeah, I don't understand people that. I mean, do do what you like, show money, do what you like. I don't understand that people that early upgrade just for the slightest. Do you know what I mean? The slightest fucking. It's in a bit. Um, That's kind of what bugs me to be fair at the moment because I'm looking at it. I'm like, I'm, I mean, as you know, I use my phone as my camera for this, mm -hmm. and I mean it's pretty bob on. Mm -hmm. Better, I, better if you don't, if you hadn't have told me, I would have. I, I thought you'd be using. Like, I use a. Uh, what am I using? Logitech HD 1080p webcam, yeah, which I is like designed solely for it. Well. But yeah, you're buzzing with that phone. Um, it does pretty damn well considering. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, um, yeah. I mean, I, if if I can do that on this one, and this is about the technical longest I'm going to need, then I'm fine. <laughs> It's. I think. Yeah. I think it's. Some people just need to have the newest of the new. Yeah. I'm. Which I'm all about because, like I was saying, I'm. I'm. I'm getting FOMO with a uh, death loop, um, and I, I. I assume people feel that kind of thing with the phones. So, I get it. But I. Whatever. I. I think I got a two year contract. I was like, yeah, whatever. Just give me the phone. Five G, whatever. Don't care. It's in a bit. <laughs> um. All right. Shall we move on to? My favourite part of the show. Yes, go on. We shall. Chart time. Have you seen the charts, Rob? Oh, yeah, no. There are four new entries. Which is nice, four. mate. Do you want to guess what's number one? Or what should I tell you? I want to say Deathloop. Deathloop. Deathloop's not out yet. So it can't be in the chart. <laughs> Might be it next week. Be. I'm hoping it is next week. Mm -hmm. Weekend in September the eleventh. This is what what are we saying. Uh, I don't know. I really don't. You'd be surprised. I hope you'd be surprised. Um, four, four new entries. So I'm gonna go from the bottom. Number ten, Super Mario 3D World. Number nine, mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto Five. Shock horror. Oh, Number eight, <laughs> F1 2021. I'm glad that's still there. It's cool. Animal Crossing. Number seven. Number six is a new entry. It's in Life is Strange and True Colors. Of course. Did you yeah, get around to getting that? that? I know you like the first two, one. Yeah, oh, the first one. Yeah. First one, one yeah. I've not, I've not got around to it. No. Or it's definitely. So you something you keep in your eye on, is it? Oh yeah. All buzzing, mate. <laughs> um, then number five, Minecraft Switch. Shock horror. Uh, number four, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, and then top three are new entries. So. Number three, NBA 2K22. Number two, okay. uh, Tales of Arise, which is nice to see that out there. Yeah. And number yes. one, Rob. Yeah. I'm a Wario. I'm a gonna win. Ah, WarioWare, get it together. Um, get it together. Number one. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm happy about that, yeah. actually. It's a exclusive Switch game, so it's nice to see 
beaten out that like, because uh, Tales of Rise NBA 2K22 both multi platforms, but remember this does only cover physical sales in the UK. Um, so where are we? Uh, where are we getting together? Best selling box game in the UK last week. Nintendo Switch exclusive did not need to sell a lot to get to the top, and in fact, it's only one of the softest Switch game launches this year. Its box launch sales are below that of Metopia, which debuted back at number, which debuted at number two back in May. It narrowly held off Bandai Namco's RPG Tales of Arise, which made number two. Uh, the game has performed well for Bandai Namco, which sells more than double that of its previous RPG release, Scarlet Nexus, which re released number eight back in June. Um, yeah, I was going to say, um, I'm sure that's on PC as well, so I'm sure a lot of people got that on Steam and things. Um, uh, mm. Tales of Rise, 28% on PS5, 13 PS4. Uh, <laughs> no, sorry, 58% on PS5, 28% on PS4, 13 on Xbox Series X and S, and then 1% on PC. I don't know who's buying physical games on, like, on PC, but go more power to you, mate. Let's do it. Um, I know. The game may well be number one when digital comes on, in on Thursday as Nintendo does not share digital feature figures. So WarioWare is very likely to fall down the charts once those numbers come in. Uh, the only game that may prevent Tales of Rise reach number one is NBA 2K22, obviously. Um, that's 46% on PS5, 27 on PS4, 30, 13 on Xbox One, 10 on Xbox Series X, and 2% on Switch. <laughs> Sorry, that's made me laugh. Um, and Life is Strange, 54% on PS5, 28% on PS4, 18% on Series X and S. Um, how do them numbers grab you, mate? A little bit surprised. I expected more people, sort of Xbox-wise, to be on board with Life is Strange. Yeah. That's actually surprised me a little bit. Yeah. But... People on Xbox don't buy video games. They just use Game Pass, mate. You should That's know this. I mean. You should know this by now. <laughs> hmm? I, I am one of them. <laughs> You're all over that, mate. Um, but yeah, uh, very nice to see new games getting bought and uh, Tales of Series getting that sweet love in, mate. Um, but shall we crack on? Yeah. We're very busy. Now, Rob, while I've got you, <laughs> last Thursday we watched a, a showcase, didn't we? PlayStation Showcase. We did watch a showcase. What? What your impressions now you've had the weekend to sort of i still think still think it's possibly been the best one i've watched this year it is i agree um it was outstanding the way it was done and it was i like, honestly bang, thought bang, bang. It, it was because i thought they, they came in with the big guns like as that first one for mm -hmm. kotor and then after that I, th I thought it was going to dip and it just didn't yeah. like, uh, they, they but still in the middle up, kind like, of there was a few things I thought is this, is this necessary but I agree yeah, um, yeah. but um, to say, it put me onto some new ones I mean like Project Eve Project Eve I'm looking like, fresh I'm, mate I'm, I'm in on board. I'm in on so, that um, yeah what else uh, yeah I, usually um, if it's quite see it was relatively CGI heavy. Usually, when stuff like that, I'm like, I, "Come on, like, why are you showing this?" But because Sony have been quiet for so long, I'm gonna give them a pass, a rare pass, because it's like you've been quiet. You, you've you've got like a sort of roadmap now, what people can expect next year, year after kind of thing. So, yeah. But I mean, very good. Knights of the Republic remake, get in my face. Project Eve, get in my face. Wolverine, get in my face. Batman Two, God of War. Just for spoken, just eating this short, mate, all day long. Yeah. It, well, it was just next level, and then so actually see some gameplay as well now for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Yes, that was another one. What did you make of that, mate? It's what I'd hoped, to be fair. Yeah. So it look, yeah, it looks to be pretty damn good. So I'm, I'm, I'm already up for it. It's now just a case of saving for the pre pre-order. <laughs> Yeah, has it got a release window yet? Is it, is it uh, next yes, year? Yes, it was. Yeah, it's March next year. There I think you it was go. 20, How much March twenty fifth, I think. March. So where are we now? October, no September. So it's the chaotic edition I'm after. Yeah. How much does that so, set you back? I think it's about eighty nine ninety nine. So I'm a bit like... Mm, 10 a month-ish. 15 quid a month, just put, put, 
outside. A little bit. Um, Rob. Now, yes. God of War trailer. I fucking, I can't wait for God of War Ragnarok. You have no idea. Um, that was great. I was, I was like sold to be fair on that yeah. trailer. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of gameplay going around. There's a lot of this. There's a lot of that. This is setting the uh, setting it in. Uh, still no released window. I don't think. I don't think they've given it a year yet. I think they've just. Um, yeah, I, I assume yeah, they're going to try and get um, back end of next year, but we'll see. Um, now the artist Raf Grassetti, you may know him. He he does a lot of fan art of like he's done the Star Fox team, he's done the Smash Brothers thing, he's done this. He's a very talented guy. Um, yeah. He's posted a load of um, shots of a lot of the characters, uh, and one character in particular has got a lot of attention. I'll say. Um, obviously, you know I'm talking about four. Um, now, yes, I. I don't know if you know this about me, Rob. I'm very. I love my mythology shit. Like, I'm. I'm in on it. I'm. I love it. I've got books coming out my ass. I'm just like, let's do it. Um, and I thought they were gonna go the Marvel route of Thor with you know tall, long, blonde locks and quite handsome and all that shit. Um, but they've actually gone OG like proper th what Thor is. He's just a, a slob twat, basically yeah, Thor. Think of him in Endgame. Is oh, a yeah. bit of a prick. Like it, that's Thor, basically, in Norse mythology. Now, I'm gonna, have you seen this picture? Of, of, have you seen him? I, I haven't seen okay, it. Yet, I'm going to no. show you the picture. If you just wait a second while else, whilst the screen tries to. Let me just sorry. I'm going to get it up. Um. So that's Thor, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that makes sense. And um, that is very accurate to what it is in the. Um, like the Norse mythology poetic header. Um, that people are like, oh, I need, oh, you're not like need Chris, Marvel. I need Chris, Chris Hemsworth for like, come on, mate. Um, like he, he played God of War, Rob. Yeah, one, two, yeah. and three. Oh, he played this awesome. one, the the first this one. Um, no, I haven't. No, I mate, haven't so played good. It. I keep. It's one that I keep buying up, but. A PlayStation sounds like it's about to explode playing Borderlands 3. I do not think it's going to be <laughs> yeah, able no, to handle do, it. Yeah, no, do not. Like, it is a very demanding game. Do not put it in there. Um, yeah, I mean, it, even in the first game, Mimir, uh, the, you'll, if you ever play it, you'll see Mimir is the dude. Uh, the head in the trailer. Mm. He even says Thor's a fat slob, is this, is that, he's a dick. He's not a fan of him. And people are still mm -hmm. expecting... Um, Chris Hemsworth to come out and it's not going to happen but um, I'm very happy with how it, I think it looks great um, I'm no, sure yeah, I think they made a good decision on that yeah. um, now Rob if I may theory time theory time another character that got a, a body shot was uh, Tyr who is the Norse god of war um, basically yes. uh, and I was very excited I don't know if you, what you remember I was very excited when he called from yeah. the trailer I was very excited uh, yeah. I've noticed something, and quite a few people have noticed this as well on his, sh on his like body shot, where, on his left arm, I have to fucking, because he's the wrong way around. I have to, on his left arm, if I may, I'm gonna point my screen for everybody. You're just give me two seconds. If you see here, I, 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 the mouse doesn't come up, but on his left arm, uh, there are. Egyptian hieroglyphics. It doesn't zoom in. I'm fuming. Egyptian hieroglyphics on that on that left arm. If you can see, um, I'm, I'm not sure oh, if you can just, see it yeah. there, but well, you can see tattoos. Egyptian hieroglyphics. Now it's like, why has he got Egyptian hieroglyphics on his arm if it's Norse mythology? Hmm. Called God of War Ragnarok. Ragnarok's the end of fucking. You know, the end basically. Um, you've all seen four Ragnarok, it's pretty much that gonna happen. Yeah, uh, we go into Egyptian mythology next because uh, the director, um, sorry, Corey Barlog isn't directing this one, by the way. Rob, I'm not sure if you, you knew. Um, Eric Williams is stepping up now. He has been, um, is it Eric Williams? I've got that name wrong. 
director. Two seconds. Oh god, in the hood. Eric Williams, I was right. I'm always right about this kind of thing. I don't know why I doubted myself. Um, Eric Williams, who has been at Santa Monica since pretty much the first God of War. Um, very talented. Um, I think he's a combat designer. Um, he's been there for years. Uh, understands the series well. I'm, I'm sure it will be single downs. I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, he, he says you can't call it God of War Ragnarok without, you know, ending the whole thing. So. Whatever. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see though. We'll see. I um, I won't go in anymore. Um, should we crack on, mate? One. Now, Rob, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm not very excited. And I don't like shedding light on leaks or anything, Rob. But I think this one. This one. Um, this is a this is a humdinger, mate. You know what I mean? Um. So I'm reading from WCCF Tech. Yeah. Um, now, GeForce Now, I'm not sure if you know what GeForce Now is, Rob. Uh, it's Nvidia's, um, Nvidia's thing, I'll get a, uh, a description for it. GeForce Now is a brand used by Nvidia for its cloud gaming service, so it's PlayStation Now, but a PC one for Nvidia. Um, now, somebody um, has, I'm not sure who, um, Leak the database, like they've sort of. I'm not sure what they've done. I'm not sure what they've done. Um, but where are we now? Um, as we expect, most games. Blah, 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 no, let me go off it. Sorry, mate. Um, I'm gonna go back into this other article. Uh, several high profile remasters and games have listed in massive NVIDIA GeForce Now leak. Um, how the let me just. I can't find it, mate. I'm so sorry. I had to solve. All in the yeah, air, so mate. Uh, but now it's gone about half a year ago, but now. Okay, so. Igor um, IGHOR is a, a leaker. Um, you got access to the information by inspecting the GFN client application thoroughly. Um, so, if you understand what that means, more power to you. Um, about half a year ago, NVIDIA GeForce Now service worked differently. You could launch Steam directly, and after that, select the game of your choice. Most of the games are locked since GFN limitations, but I figured out how to run the games which are not officially available on their website. I've managed to play a Gas Guzzler's Extreme at that. So basically, he's been pissing about with that. And he's got all these fucking lovely video games. Um, Rob, I'm just going to reel off a few here, right? Um, Chrono Cross Remaster. Final Fantasy mm. Tactics Remaster, get in my face. Oh. Final Fantasy VII Remake PC. Final Fantasy IX Remake. What? Gears 6. Um, Kingdom Hearts 4. Uh, Indiana Jones. Metal Gear Solid 2 HD, Metal Gear Solid 3 HD. Time Split is 2 Remastered. Resident Evil 4 Remake. Street Fighter 6. Monster Hunter 6. Um, I assume it's not going to be called Monster Hunter 6 if it is a thing. GTA 3, Vice City and San Andreas Remaster. Bioshock 2022. Um, Tekken 8. Titanfall 3. Bayonetta 3. Um, and so on and so forth. Now, Rob, I wasn't... Like I said, I don't like jumping into these kind of things. I, I think it's a... I think publishers and developers should be able to show their games off when they want, but when it's humdingers like this, I can't help myself, mate. I'm sorry. Um, have, you, have you had a look for the list? Have you managed to? I, I haven't, but I've got to say, to be fair, Final Fantasy Tactics, yes. Yep. Final Fantasy IX, yes. Yep. Time Splitters 2, yes. Yes. Mate, this is. <laughs> it almost feels too good to be true. So, this is what I'm worried about. Um, perhaps they are. The pit, if this leak is fake. Um, there's like there, there's like an official screenshot of it as well, but it can, things can be doctored, and, but it does yeah. like a lot of high profile, I'll say, insiders of saying most of this is real, um, and Nvidia themselves have come out and they've said what they said, mate. Um, what help if I'm fuming. 
Right, right. Mate, right. Nvidia is aware of an unauthorized published game list with both released and or speculative titles used only for internal tracking and testing. Inclusion on the list is neither confirmation nor announcement announcement of any game. Nvidia took immediate action to remove access to the list. No confidential game bills or personal information were exposed. Rob. Hmm. Off that quote, if you will, do you believe that that list is how accurate do you think that list is? I'll say. And there's some words they've put in there that make me suggest that there's a couple that could be potential games. There's at least a few that are real. And what I'll yeah. say, which few we'll never know, but what well, we will know, but. Eventually, we'll and just as free as well. God's just saying that one. I'm, I, the more I look at this list, the more you see like um, Ratchet and Clank as well. There's a lot of PC, this is all for PC as well. So, um, but it's got to remember PlayStation now is on PC and that could be tied with that. So, don't it's probably best not to get too excited. Like God of War and PC, I mean, that's on this list yeah. by the way. Gran Turismo 7, um, Ghost of Tsushima, like there's. Um, Sony hired that studio, didn't they? I can't remember what they were, but they were a PC port and to, to, you know, they specialised in PC gaming. Yeah. And obviously with Uncharted, um, Horizon Days gone on PC now, it's not hard to... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm very excited by this. Like, I want Final Fantasy VII Remake on PC since the fucking day it was announced, mate. Now, mate. now we're nearly there. Um... But I, I could just go fucking all day. Untitled Respawn game, Untitled the Initiative game, Untitled Marvel game 2020, and Walking Dead. Um, like, do you know what I mean? The more I just look at it, System Shock Three, Returnal, PC, Death, uh, Demon Souls as well. There's a lot to be it. Like, obviously, this is going to be one of the things. Yeah, we'll, I think it is. Like, we'll just we'll know we'll in to, time whether there is. We'll have to wait. Um, we'll have to sit and wait. Um, but it's always a shame when this happens, but I'm very excited if that, that's real. You know what I mean? Very excited. Um, out of all those video games, from which, which one, if you could have one of those being real, which one would it be? Final Fantasy IX Remake. I'm more inclined to agree with you, mate. Um, my heart. But the, the more believable one out of all of it for me though is probably Final Fantasy Tactics remake. That's more believable. Yeah. Nine does seem that like a weird choice. It is for me. The reason I say it is because Tactics has far more possibilities to be ported onto the Switch. Yep. Also, um you have got to remember that there is a Final Fantasy Nine um telev- children's TV show. Um as yes. it were, isn't a drummer. I do remember something about this. Yeah, so hope maybe that's going to be... Maybe that was always meant to tie into that. Who knows? Um, uh, but shall we move on? Because we can Go talk on. We can talk leaks and pie in the sky of dreams all day fucking long, lad. Um, BGC, our, our favourite website, uh, had an interview with Hideki Kamiya and Inaba at Platinum Games. They discussed... Okay. Soul Cresta and the ongoing wait for Bayonetta 3. Um, well, well, now, they say. I'll go, I'll, Bayonetta 3 first. Well, Where are we now? It's a bit Let me just find. Late, Sorry, they've talked. Um, Soul oh. Cresta first. I don't know if I'm just scroll down well, to find Bayonetta 3. I do apologise. Uh, oh, the, first things first. They would like to make Star Fox Zero on the. To port that over to the Switch, they would enjoy doing that. Nobody else would enjoy doing that, but they would. So I have more power to them. Did you play that game? No. It's fucking <laughs> shit, mate. The first level, you think, oh, this isn't too bad, and then it goes mental. I'm like, no, I don't want to play this. Um, yeah. So uh, when we spoke in January about whether you would provide an update on Bayonetta 3 this year, you said it's safe to expect that something will come out. There's still a lot left of the year. Uh, there's still a lot of the year left. Well, there's now three months left. Should fans still expect? Um, now, Bayonetta 3 is infamous and being revealed at the... I want to say the 2017 Game Awards. It could be the 2018 Game Awards. I can't remember. Um, it was a trailer, CG trailer, and then nothing. Until yeah. nothing. And 
Camilla says it was more of a not definitely something will come out this year but if there is a year then something should happen right if you remember last time I said that even though everyone was asking about Bayonetta 3 maybe you should tell everyone to forget about it for a while I kind of need to keep to that stance for now because ultimately it's not our decision what to say and when to say it it's Nintendo's, obviously. Um, and then Inaba says, no need to worry, don't worry about that this time. Everything's okay. I don't believe that for a fucking second, by the way. <laughs> Everything's okay. Because you've got the one of the one of the director of Bayonetta 2 left the company. Um, not showing it for three years after announcing I mean, like, take your time and make it, but... Do you know what I mean? Um, are you a fan of Bayonetta? Yeah. Enjoyed it. Yeah, did you play the one. second one? Because I know. It's... No, the second one's the one I've missed. The second yeah, one's very fucking good, yeah. mate. If you get a chance, switch. It's on there. It's That's good. what I'm thinking. It's good, mate. It's good. Um, and obviously, I'm sure Bayonetta Three will be fine when it comes out. But this or oh, the development's going swimmingly, and like you're lying to us. I know you're lying to us. Um, but I'd rather you lie to us than worry us all, to be honest. Um. And then Soul Cresta is your next big release. What was the appeal of working on a title like this right now? Um, actually, it was about three years ago that I had the idea of Soul Cresta. I had a game design dot that I've been keeping warm and thinking of how to improve. I've always liked uh, 2D games since I was a kid, especially shooting games. So blah 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 blah. Um, Soul Cresta, you're not a fan, right? You're not. That, that's not your. No, not really my sort of thing. I mean, I could read this all day. But the, the main thing about this one was. Bayonetta 3 is going swimmingly, so don't worry about it, everybody. It is. I, I heard it's going swimmingly. I, uh, mate, I heard it going swimmingly. Um, yeah. Rob, speaking of Project Eve, yeah. yes. uh, the developer, Shift Up, their CEO has bought all 260 members of their staff a PS5 to play for when the game comes out. Great day for effort. Where he's found 260 PS5s in the wild to buy for his staff, I have no idea. But No, I mean, like, it is a bit of, like, one of those, like... It's like, where have you got all that from? A, yeah, kick in the sack, but... Yeah. Sentiment itself for the work they've put in... Yeah. Uh, like, it's, it, it, is a, it is a, a bonus line, so... Yeah, I'd say, I'd say it's, it's a good gesture. Yeah. No, so, put, I'm not, so, so I'm not angry about yeah, it. Yeah, of course. So you, you imagine <laughs> what... 260 times 450 pounds is 110,000. How much is that? Silly money. My maths is doing 260 <laughs> times 450. Say 450. Yeah. 120 grand. I've got some apps in the Just under. Like there are thereabouts. He do not give a fuck, mate. He must be. Um, it is. A Chinese developer as well. There's money in the Chinese game industry at the minute, so you know it is what it is. But that game looks great, and I can't wait to play it. But that I, I found that was hilarious. Course. That was from Michael Herodance at PlayStation Universe. Um, what Rob? Shall we crack on, mate? Yeah, go on. Um, there's been a Nintendo Switch price cut in Europe, at least from what I can gather as things stand. Um, okay. It, it's not a big price cut. It's not like half price or anything. Um, but with the Nintendo Switch OLED, which they are pushing, by the way, because that is out on October the 8th, I think, with Metroid Prime. Uh, Metroid Prime. Shut me up. Metroid Dread. Sorry. Um, yeah, so you can get the Nintendo Switch in Europe now for £260, which is a price deduction of 20 Is it? 270 Yeah, 20 quid. Um Yeah. Which, you know, Nintendo have done that themselves. It is their own store that started it. So obviously, I think obviously the big chains will start dropping their prices as well. Um, and of course, if, if you went to a supermarket, I'm, I'm sure you could have uh, swindled one for a few quid here and a few quid there. Um, we both got you've got a switch, right? Yeah, switch. You and Laura light, have though. a switch each, do you? I can't remember. I'm sorry. No, uh, it was just a, just the switch light that we've switch got. Light. But you're yeah. all over it, yeah. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's good right. fun. Like, it's nice, nice little handheld that, realistically, I'm still surprised at what it can do. Yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> it does. There are certain video games where I think, oh, that's a bit rough, but 
some of it's good, like um, Witcher's on it. Witcher runs like shit sometimes, but I can play Witcher on the toilet, so I'm happy. Um, Skyrim's on it. I know Lauren's happy Skyrim. with that. Yeah, uh, and to be fair, it runs pretty damn well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, Borderlands 1 and 2 is, I think. Is that right? Yeah, uh, it's the Legendary Edition. Right, so okay. it's one, 1, 2, and pre sequel. Oh, there you go. Winner. Um, and there's That's like. Fine, uh, you, you over, yeah, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> big games. Like Doom is on there, Wolfenstein's on there. They're fucking demanding video games. So. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Switch is taking over the world, mate. Um, but that was from Tom Phillips at Eurogamer. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it very much. Um, Rob, I have some bad news. Oh, no. I have some like bad news, mate. Uh, bad news. It's more like news that's. It's more inconvenient news. Um, Dying Light's been delayed again. Uh, the reader from Twitter, uh, from the official Dying Light account. Just hello, everybody. Today we have important news to share with you about the development progress in Dying Light 2 Stay Human. It has always been our company's goal to build transparent and honest communication with our company, community, fans, and gamers. Every day we strive to grow this element. I appreciate people that are transparent. Just don't talk to me like an idiot. You know what I mean? Tell me how it is. Tell me what's going down. Don't talk shit to me. Um, so, obviously, um, with the game needing added polish and the Rona virus and making things hard, uh, they're about to push the game back to February 4th, 2022, which is... I'm not sure when it's supposed to come out. I think that's a delay of about three or four months, I believe. Um, oh, yeah, I think it was due for just um, for November. I think. Yeah, so I think that's yeah, it's about three and a half, four months or so. Um, I'm very happy that they just made the yeah, game. Yeah, they've, 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 they've been. I, I'm not too fussed, I think, with how they've done it because I think it's a case that they've just gone, look, it's not ready. Simple, as simple as that. Yeah, we, that's got, fair enough. Got, We've got right. we've got tweaks we need to do before this yeah. comes out, and we want to be sure. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm 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 quite pleased with that. Yeah, I mean bummer. Um, it is a bummer, <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, would you want to play it? If it came out and it was like buggy, you'd be like, "What? Mm -hmm. This buggy? Mm -hmm. oh, how dare you really Cyber apply. Cyberpunk? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, that was just a quick one on that one. Um, if you're looking forward to Dying Light, let us know. Yeah. I haven't played the first one, have you? Uh, I've had a bit of a small batch on it, not too much. Is it good or what? Um, it's good, it was good fun. I like the mechanics of it, actually, to be yeah. fair. It's, it's like parkour zombie killing, right? Is that the... Yeah, and I think they've, they've incorporated that a little more now as well. I, uh, you've got certain aspects of... If you are close to walls, that you can sort of parry off the wall to sort of try right. and gain some higher ground and leverage over them and things like that. So I, they've done, they've thought really put some thought into this. Pulls in. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to it. Pulls in, mate. Um, but Rob, enough about Dying Light. Moving on, mate. Um, PS5, is it PlayStation? Let me just check that. PS5 September system software update launches globally tomorrow, which is the 15th. Um, so in this update, I'm reading from PlayStation blog, um, there's PS5 UX enhancements. Um, it says control center customization. Players can now customize the color, um, their control center more freely by rearranging or choosing which controls to hide or unhide at the bottom of the screen. Um, enhanced game base. I don't know what that is. I've got a PS5, I don't know what this means. Players can now easily view and write messages to friends and parties directly from game base in the control center. I kind of know what it means. Um, while viewing game base in full screen, players can also see how many friends are online, busy, or offline, as well as accept, decline, or cancel friend requests at once. Yeah. Rob, that sentence I just said, shouldn't that be in it from, like, day one, really? I would have thought so, yeah. I'm Call me a naive person. Um, and I'm sure there are some programmers and engineers and developers there she's got to rip my bollocks off for saying that but surely right it's like when the Epic oh. Games Store came out and there wasn't like a basket you just had to buy games individually you couldn't just go on a shopping spree that, that bothers me a bit um, <laughs> bothers me more than it should do first world problems I mean do you know what I mean uh, well moving on 
game library and home screen updates. If you have a PS4 and PS5 version of the same game installed, they now appear separately in the install tab. Hallelujah. <laughs> that's what that's what we've come to see, mate. Um, <laughs> that's that what is everything. Need to see. Yeah, because installing the PS5 version of Final Fantasy VII from the PS4 disc was fucking nightmare, mate. I've got to be honest with you. It was like, where is it? And then I, I was halfway for downloading it. It's like I downloaded the wrong one here. It's just like PS4, for fuck's sake. Um, but yeah. Um, new gaming and social experience customizations. PlayStation Now resolution selector and connection tool test tool. Um, that's one for you, Rob. Uh, new accolade type leader. Following an online match, players can award others with a fourth accolade type leader, which is visible. Play. I didn't know that was a thing. Is that a thing? Whatever, it's not important. Automatic capture of personal best videos. When players complete in challenges for a better time or high score and set a personal best, the video clip of their action will be automatically recorded. That's cool. Um, new trophy tracker. Uh, just, you're a trophy guy, I can't remember. I uh, do an like achievement hunter, sorry. Right, yeah, I do like to get some achievements. Are you some, all about them achievements? Very satisfying. Yeah, like, are you, very satisfying about it. Are you the type of person that will play a bad game just to get the achievements because they're easy? No. Not that person, but you're playing a game you enjoy. Part. You're gonna go out your way to get the achievements. Is that the, that yeah. that person? Right, okay, cool. Yeah, because I mean, like at the moment, there's like I say, going back to Borderlands pre sequel. There's a specific achievement or trophy at the moment that is requires you to do a 360 no scope headshot. Have you done that yet? Not on the PlayStation. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've done it on the Xbox. You don't know, the okay, that's all you need to do, mate. What do you need to do? <laughs> um, the M.2 storage expansion is going live tomorrow as well. Do not try that before you've installed the update, please. You'll break your computer, you break your PlayStation. We don't want that to happen. You'll break it, I'm sure it just won't work. Um, uh, there's some remote play and app enhancements. Uh, uh, where are we now? View share screen broadcast on PS app. That's cool. Um, so next Thursday, September 23rd, a PS app update will begin rolling out globally and give users the ability to view their friends' share screen broadcast together from your phone. What is this? The future. Um, that PS5 update goes live tomorrow, so be sure to um, turn all updates off if you're on a on a game um, in suspend mode. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're on a run and return, on mate, don't don't all updates off. Do it yourself. Just um but yeah safe safe return for the following day yeah that might be a better <laughs> idea mate um rob <laughs> are we any closer to a ps5 there's more i could there's more and more things that are coming out on it that make me want one but it's just when they're going to be available i can appreciate that sentiment all day long mate um but rob i have new game pass games i'm very happy I am very happy okay. right now. Because there's one here that I've been I've had my eye on for fucking ages, mate. Um I'm gonna put it on screen. Xbox.com. Um so coming soon, we've got Flint Son of Crimson. What is that? Available day one on bus. Handcrafted 2D action platformer, I'm in day one. Let's do it. Uh, I am Fish. Uh Skatebird is out on September sixteenth as well. Have you seen this? Skatebird game. Uh, I have not, but no. I am intrigued. Yeah. It's just bird skateboarding. It's like Tony Hawk's book, but a bird. Um, Which is what? That, so it's like tomorrow, is it? Uh, Thursday. Right. Oh, there. 16th, yeah, Thursday. Uh, Superliminal uh, Perceptions Reality in this man bending first person puzzle game. You escape your own dream by tackling impossible puzzles based on. Okay, optical illusion puzzles, that's cool. Origami 2, uh, as on Friday. Did you play the first one? No, I didn't. I didn't either. One. I wanted to. I th I think I wanted to. Do you know what I mean? One of them. I kind of wanted. Yeah. But... So I got. So I got. Did, did I want to? I think I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lost Worlds is out. Twenty third. Uh, Sable is out. That this game looks interesting. I've I seen this dude on Twitter who's making this, um, sharing like mm. the landscapes and things. It looks very nice. Um, that's out on the twenty third. I quite like the art style. Yeah. Uh, Subnautica, Below Zero, NS is very happy, uh, out on the 23rd. Tainted Grail, 23rd. Lemnisgate, 28th. What's that? 
Uh, let me just get the right constraints time for present this. Multiplayer, it's pretty. Tactical first person shooter multiplayer. You know the one. Um, Ashria Ascendant. This is the one that I'm interested in. Uh, that's out on my father's birthday, September the 30th. Um, available on day one with get Xbox Game Pass. Explore a vast uh, world on the brink of chaos and a mature emotional JRPG rendered in f glorious 4K. Hand drawn visuals, uh, customize your characters with expansive customization, and lead uh, the eight demigods of Orkanon to battle in a rewarding turn based combat to project the harmony. Rob. That sounds right mm -hmm. up my street, mate, and I'm in. I mean, you had me at JRPG. I, you, I had you all day long at JRPG, mate. <laughs> um, and Unsighted, September 30th, and Phoenix Point on it, uh, October the 1st. Um, now, what's leaving? There's some uh, Gears 5 goodness there for you. What's leaving? Um, these games are getting touch control, so Blinks, Chris Tales, Halo Spartan, Assault, Halo Wars, Halo Wars 2, Raji, uh, all getting touch controls, and leaving there. September 30th, uh, Drake Hollow, Iconfell, Night in the Woods, Cafe Rain, Warhammer, Vermintide 2. Um, that is your update on Xbox Game Pass. Rob. Yeah. Anything there taking interest? Ah, Astria ascending. Yep. Yeah. Are you in day one? Yeah. I'm in day one. I've I've seen that. I didn't realise it was out. It's on Switch as well. Um I think um there's another one that's not far off now, which was it back for blood? Yeah, that the yeah, that's out in October, right? Yeah, I was gonna say I knew that one wasn't too far off yeah. now. Bigger uh, Big Ross at work is like in that back for blood stuff, mate. So you know what I mean. Um, hey. But is it out? Astro sending out already on Switch. I don't know. Sorry. I should stop. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, a uh, good month overall, you reckon? No. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think it's pretty strong. I mean, I have I seen agree. stronger months, but. But yeah, it's, it's kind of like that, like the filler month, but there's. there's Depending on uh, your yeah. interests. I suppose it, the way I look at it is sometimes we'll get like a very strong month, but it'll be games that have been out a while. Yeah, no, I agree. I, this is more of like it's got that day one in there for one. So it, it's strong enough. <laughs> I agree. 100%. So I'll be on board. Um, yeah, uh, but moving on. Um, Nickelodeon All Stars Battle. What? Well, no, Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. Sorry. Yes. This game just keeps on giving, mate. I've got to be honest with you. Um, did you know who's been announced for it? Go on, Ren and Stimpy. Stimpy, you idiot! <laughs> mate, I'm in. I, I'm. <sighs> where are my Ren and Stimpy mains at? You know what I'm saying? Um, That's something I haven't seen for a very long. I love time. Ren and Stimpy. You don't. You you probably have an idea of how much I love Ren and Stimpy. Um, ah, uh, I don't know what to say. Um, are you getting this game, or are you? Is it going to be one of them? I'll get it when it's twenty quid. Yeah, I think it's going to be one that I'll probably get when it's on the cheaper yeah. side. I, I, yeah, it's, it looks fresh, but I mean, it, I'm, I'm interested to see what people think of this when it comes out. Um, yeah. Cause when is the game out? Later this year. Uh, Ren and Stimpy. It's got Ren and Stimpy, April O'Neil, two of the turtles, Leonardo and Mikey, I think. Um, Reptar, Nigel Thornberry. I mean, pff, one drop spare one. Square pants. So, sorry. So, something is quite satisfying knowing that you could like lay the smack down with Nigel Thornberry. Lay him bare smack down. And if if he's um, yeah. torn, right, if one of his taunts isn't smashing, I'd be fucking annoyed, mate. Yeah, I, I, you'd be, be fuming, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm <laughs> fuming. Because uh, one of um, SpongeBob's taunts is that um, that that meme he does. I know, I know, saying that SpongeBob meme is like saying that bar of soap or something, but that meme was like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I'm, glad, I'm glad it's that one rather than the, the uh, I, I'm a head out. <laughs> it yeah, keeps no. coming up at the moment. Yeah, that's hilarious. Um, Rob, bad news again. Well, ah, I don't know if it's bad news. Today. It's probably just news at this point. Um, Little Big Planet. You play Little Big Planet? No, I didn't. It was fine. It was good. Um, 
a uh, little bit planet server and online services so there's i'm reading from the twitter account it says hello first we'd like to apologize for extended downtime a little bit planet server and want to thank you for your patience to probably work on the issue no one knew it was down because no one plays it i'm sorry that was mean i'm sorry uh, the good news is that we have launched game update 1.27 and brought a little bit of planet server and all 10 million plus community levels back online for playstation 4 users unfortunately we need to permanently shut down our online services for little big planet little big planet 2 and little big planet 3 and ps vita um ps3 games and ps vita games um so they are shutting down ps3 and ps vita games rob how's that that's about. Didn't they? Didn't they say they were going to do this not long ago? <laughs> I mean, that was just the, the, the stores, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, and then they just sort of were like, "Actually, no, we're not. We're, we're not psych." Yeah, it's going to it's going to happen eventually. Um, like yeah. you can't can't keep these open forever. Do you know what I mean? It's That's just not it, financially like viable. For, I imagine the people yeah. that are playing Little Big Planet still on PlayStation Three. Are just, I, I'm I mean, sure. Like I'm that. sure you're having a good time, and I'm sure I'm you're sure making the best of, of what you've got, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can't it's, it's, justify uh, to keep it's the lights on. Time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been a good ten years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I know, I know, one is tight, obviously, and you've got to do what you've got to do. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a shame, but at least the the the, the, the games are staying on for the PS4, and I assume PS5, you'd be able to play it as well. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> Um, yeah. And last but not least, Rob, just a quick one. Um, Tokyo mm. Game Show. Square Enix have reaffirmed that they're they are pushing that now because it is two weeks ish, um, October first at seven p.m. Japan time, which is I've written it down, ten a.m. for us. We can't watch it because we're boring people. We're old at work and we're all that. Um, what date? What date? October first. It's a Tuesday, I think. Let me check the calendar. No, it's a it's Friday. It's a Friday. I'm lying to you. I knew that because October 8th is a Friday as well, and that's Metro Retro Day. I'm lying to you there, mate. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean, can't watch it. I'm at work anyway, so I can't watch it. Um, what because, are um, you expecting? Anything big or just updates from what we already know? Or I'm hoping to see maybe some possible gameplay for the Final Fantasy Origins or... What was it called? Stranger Paradise. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. I played the demo, you know. You have? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's right. I, I, you know, I'm not a Dark Souls guy. Mm -hmm. I, it, that's, it, it feels like you're moving a boat. Oh, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and it can take an age to do anything, with, and so on. But I get the appeal, um, and I, I get I'm a lover of hard games myself. I, I know the appeal's there. Um, but this is dead hard. Um, dead interesting what they're gonna do with interpreting like Final Fantasy style upgrades to that kind of thing. Like, I think they've got a job system in that. I've not played it for about a few months, so I'm, I'm a bit fuzzy. Uh, but I think there was a job system, um, but I mean, yeah, I, it's not too bad. I thought it was going to be worse than it was, but it does need yeah. touching up a bit around the. It's it's a bit rough right now, but um, gameplay's fresh. Hoping um, hoping it's good. Um, is that something you'd be interested in? Yeah, maybe maybe a little bit more on uh, our good our good old Nia. Yeah, that'd be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. Oh, I forgot to say yesterday, last week, because we were balls deep in PlayStation, but um, Yoko Taro has revealed his new game. And I've forgotten what it's called. <laughs> Voice of Cards, is it? Voice of Cards. Yeah. Ha. Got you. Shut up, Rob. I, I lied. This is the last thing. Um, Read from Enemy, um, Demi Williams. Uh, Voice of Cards. The Isle Dragon Roars is a new tabletop RPG from Yoko Taro. Um, Square Enix has announced Voice of Cards The Isle Dragon Roars, a new tabletop RPG from Nier and Dragon Card creator Yoko Taro. Um, in a tweet, blah blah blah. Wait, is it? Oh, okay, yeah. Tabletop RPG video game built of cards. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but 
I mean, there's a little trailer with a bit of music and a bit of this and a bit of that, but it didn't show anything. I'm hoping we'll see more of that. Um, but I was hoping for a near game, so that looks off the cards for a bit, to be honest. Even though Nero Tom has sold nearly six million copies now. You know what I mean? I mean, you never know. You never know, indeed. Um, Rob, that is everything. Um, yeah. Anything else you need to add? Nothing at all. Nothing. I'm just ready, ready for this forgotten gem. Ready, mate. You're ready. Um, you'll hate it. I'm sorry. Um. Uh, uh, yeah. Anything you want to talk about? Any, any, any debates? Any um? Any unpopular opinions or anything? For or do you want me to bring this gem out right now? I'll go for the gem because I have yeah nothing I, nothing else I can really think of. <laughs> I'm ready. Right. Okay, Rob, you're not going to get it, so I'm just going to straight into it. Um, this game. I played this game at the arcades on Saturday. I could have sat there all fucking find day. The perfect song for your video it in five man? seconds. It's Go not to... Bugger Man, unfortunately. It's not. Um, I could have sat there all fucking day. <laughs> um, like, I'm not joking. It was legalized crack, mate. Um, it's a bullet hell shoot 'em up game. Um, it is only available in Japan. Okay. Unless you import it. Um, it is a RPG game, obviously. I'm not sure if it's available anywhere else. Let me just have a look. No, it's not. Okay, PlayStation 2 in Japan, I think. Um, but the sequel is available on Nintendo Switch, which is what I've been playing on as well. So if you were friends on the Nintendo Switch and you've seen me play some weird Japanese game, this is the sequel. This is the first one to it. Um, now, Rob, it's called Espaluda. Are you familiar with the game? I'm not sure. No, it's I'm very... not. <laughs> mate, it is exactly the type of game that you think it is, mate. I'm going to put the thing on screen now for everybody at home and yourself. Um, oh, God. Wrong one. Um, but yeah, it's basically young females and um mechs and if it moves kill it kind of thing um but these type of games i could play all fucking day like i it's that's why i don't play them a lot do you know what i mean like, yeah this it's it literally just looks like um that first part in near automata yeah where it's just yeah it's I think, like, I think, yeah this on steroids. Yeah, I um, <laughs> I think uh, those parts in there have, have, uh, were very inspired by games like this and I like the bullet hell shit. And obviously, it's two player as well. So Rob, you know, might bring my switch around and play two players. I'm sure you'd love that. Um, I actually would. I actually would. But but I enjoy <laughs> this sort of stuff. No, it's fucking. It's cold. It gets. I'm not joking. It gets fucking ridiculous. Like um, yeah, the idea is these these super weapons. I think you press the R, the ZR button, it'll bring out like a big beam, and that'll get rid of uh, the enemy's um, bullets because it gets ridiculous. Like because because on the second one I'm playing, I, I, I got to uh, you get to like the boss, and then you got all the you dodging all this shit, and I'm like fuck me sideways, but it keeps you on your toes, mate. You know what I mean? Um, and if you do come to um, the arcade club of us, mate. I'll get you on this because I think it's I think it's fucking. Right, it's made by um, the Cold Cave. Um, they specialise in shoot 'em up fucking bullet hell shit like this. And um, like I say, it's not for everyone. Like I say, yourself, you, you're not really into. I'm sure you play it with me, but don't get me wrong. But like I said, you wouldn't pick this up in your spare time and start playing. Um, but it's, it's yeah, it's one of those that I think I would, but it, it'd be very few and far between. I wouldn't like constantly go on my way for it. I don't think. Uh -huh. Um. Oh, it's on Xbox. The second one is on Xbox 360. Ah, I didn't know that. Thank you, eBay. Um, but I like I said, I like with it being mostly exclusive to, to Japan. If you want a physical copy, it is it is expensive. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm probably you, going to expect like what, two hundred to three hundred quid. Not quite, not quite. Oh god, what's that? 
uh, not higher, no. Um, like the PS2 version is sitting about 70 quid. Um, it's probably cheap yeah. for. Yeah, I mean, um, the Xbox 360, Espeluda 2, uh, Black Label, Japanese, brand new sealed, like brand new one is 130. But that's, even then, that's not too bad for a relatively rare game that's sealed. Um, uh, but, like I said, it is on Switch. The Switch version of the second one is about 15 quid. So, um, it is what it is, mate. Um, and you can buy. But the, the cabinets, mate. And was, but yeah, uh, that's what I've been playing as well, along with Fist on uh, my Switch. But um, yeah, nice. that is about everything today, Roberto. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Oh, everyone good. in the chat, everyone chilling. Um, watch on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, tell your friends, go and play this Espeluga game, it's fucking sick. Um, I may stream it if you're lucky. I don't think I will. Um, I don't, I don't want to because it. it for, I may. I'm a casual Friday, just chilling, playing that. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Um, but Rob, I appreciate you very much. Like I said, um, we'll see you on Thursday. Yeah, you on Thursday? I'll be here Thursday. Oh, he's yep. here Thursday. Hopefully, jams back so we can mind for him about the iPhone 13. And apologise about <laughs> we didn't have our. Um, I see exactly where I have. That's, it's just I want to hear his hate speech. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, uh, I apologise for not having a resident phone expert on today, but I'm sure you can understand. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone very much for watching and keep it casual. We'll see you next time. Peace.